when it comes to Africa, I'm sure many people in this audience will have made the same observations. I think we must take responsibility and accept our failures in dealing with these matters. For example, relating to what uh, President Obasanjo has just said, on the case of Boko Haram, or you can use that for many other cases. For me, when I'm watching on television, and I find our leaders, who should have been working together all along to address these problems that commonly affect their countries, wait until they are invited to go to Europe <laughs> to sit there and, 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 and just... You know, it's like they are made to sit down and address their problems. Why does anybody wait for that? What image does it even give about us, about Africa? In fact, the image it gives is that we are not there to even address these problems. We are there for a photo opportunity. We are happy to sit there in Paris with the president of France and address and just talk about addressing problems. It doesn't make sense that our leaders cannot get themselves together to address problems affecting our people. It doesn't make sense. Of course, I'm saying this painfully on the other hand that uh, well, I, I look forward for the time when I can be like the two former presidents. I think they are more free to say things than I <laughs> Being where they are and me being where I am. So I tend to remain with some reservations about what I have to say because uh, but I think there is that serious problem African leaders we don't need to be invited anywhere to go and address our problems without first inviting ourselves to come together to tell each other the actual truth that we must tell each other about our serious problems. So, I mean, again, <laughs> look at the problem of South Sudan, indeed. The first problem was about this country and the people there wanting to be independent. They got independence. Now that turned into a problem. How? So you have one war being fought, waged to be independent, then you have to fight another when you have achieved independence. Just fighting among themselves. Why? So some of these underlying root causes should and could have been addressed by the leaders there. Whatever happened, whoever was wrong, that's not the issue. It is still the responsibility of leaders if they can't resolve the matters themselves. Wait, why not? Why not call up upon neighbors to say, come and help? We have a problem here. Maybe there is a problem between the president and the vice president. And if they can't resolve it, and each one thinks, is the one who is right and the other is wrong and they are going to divide the army and government and everybody else to go on either side and start fighting well I think in between the time that starts and when it actually happens something can be done but it has to be leaders to work towards that and avoid the catastrophe that like we are seeing or have seen or that has already happened in South Sudan. But of course, the, the unfortunate part is that uh, 
the most majority who suffer are the Ordinary innocent people. people who have nothing to do with it. Mm. Women, children, and even many men are innocent in that <laughs> situation. <laughs> so this is, uh, I, I, I'm not giving answers probably I'm raising more questions than uh, or adding to others that have been raised. So for the time being, let me stop here. Thank you. Thank you.